Kids and cadets, welcome back to Tommy Time. Thanks for coming out. This here is a 98 Crafty front wheel drive. I dug this out of my to-do pile. And I didn't know I had it. It's the uh, direct relative of this 99 Crafty that was a, an electric start. I went through this thing and spent a lot of time on it. It was kind of in rough shape. So I decided to tackle the 98 today just because it looked complete. The wheels moved. I was able to salvage the safety brake cable, I think, although it may be a little sticky. I may have to order a cable for it, but everything else here was complete. I have not come across one with this metal shield and very few with the recoil cover. I think this is how they sold them back in 98. There was no full plastic shroud because this has a Briggs and Stratton sticker here. I think everything here is complete as it left the uh, showroom floor at Sears and Roebuck. Here's the uh, Sears model number the serial number. This is the uh, Briggs engine number and it has a build date 1998 on the engine. So going through it, oil was overfilled. I kind of dropped a little oil here on the deck, but I poured some off quite a bit actually into a container. So we got the right amount of oil in it, uh, blew out the tank with compressed air, cleaned the carb. Carb had a little bit of water in the bowl. So I'm wondering if having it overfilled with oil kind of preserved it for this many years. Don't know how long it's been sitting. I'm christening it a, a double turd right now because I don't know what we're gonna get so let's um, put a new air filter on it. You can see the rust here. This thing's been sitting for a while. So we'll throw a new one on. It's got the original Briggs number. So we'll make it breathe easy. Um, I kind of tipped this thing on the side and I'll do it for you in a minute, but you can see what its last supper was here. This grass fell off. I call it the last supper because this is what it cut the last time. It looked like really tall grass and you can see some deck rust here, which this grass just holds moisture and it'll end up rusting the underside. Here's a better example of it. You can see all the metal rust here from the deck. This just pulled away. So before we uh, fuel it, we'll go ahead and turn it on the side for you. New primer bulb. That one was kind of dried out. New backing plate gasket here. The um, air cleaner and a new um, gasket in the float bowl change that out because that was all dried out this thing may not have been disassembled ever since it le left sears and roebuck the uh, bowl gasket kind of dry and brittle change that out so, kind of made a little bit of a mess here. I want to put a rag down on this side.
just to try to catch some of that oil. So we got a bend here and the blade severely worn out. You can see all the um, grass that was here. It just peeled itself off. So here's the last supper. It was something like this. Looks like really tall grass. This oil was from me making a mess. So if this thing starts, we'll put another blade on it. This thing is really, really worn out. It's kind of bent here. I, I hope there was no crankshaft damage with this bend. So let's let's give it some petrol. If anything that uh oil's making the deck shine, shiny deck. So I'll degrease this if we have success. I think we will. It did fire off with um, a shot of happy juice. I put the recoil back on after I salvaged the spring and I gave it a shot of motivation. Motivation 101, it's just carb cleaner. People ask me what motivation is. It's highly flammable. So you give a squirt of this into the carb, it burns off quickly. And you know you've got a, an engine that'll run with a carb clean, supposedly. If everything goes right, you clean the carb, clean the tank, and it'll run. There's variance to that methodology. Sometimes you run down a rabbit hole with issues. So let me, uh, I probably shouldn't have put this on yet. I want to see if this thing primes. Priming on these carbs is critical. It's hard to see I'm in the shade. But it does look like it's getting moist. I think it is priming. I see the uh, throat of the carb getting wet, so it's got to be gasoline. Couldn't be anything else. Okay, let's let's try it. I got a clip on the safety brake handle. Okay, just a puff of smoke and then nothing. I know we got enough fuel. I can see it at the bottom of the tank. Let's uh, start over with this priming. I may have to double up that gasket, the gasket between the backing plate and the carb. If there's any warpage in this plastic, it'll let uh, air in. I'm just going to give it a shot here to see if it'll kick off with that. And then I'll deal with the priming bulb later. It is a new bulb. I may have to double up on the gasket. OK, 
Okay, it fired off. So let me try this again. The issue is it may need a new carb. It did have a lot of white crusty crud in it and I really spent some time with the pick getting rid of that crud under the bowl. Really made sure the passages were free and clear. So sometimes they are so bad after they've been sitting for years. There's nothing you can do but put it in an ultrasonic cleaner. So in the meantime, I just put an aftermarket one on and clean this one at a later date. Okay. So no success on this. That's where we are. We need to concentrate on carburation. I have a bunch of these carbs, so I'll be able to throw another one on. We'll give it another shot. Well, that was unfortunate. Had it all apart. Was hoping for success, success even. But I think we'll get there. At least it fired off, compression sound good. I didn't hear any banging. What I may do just for the fun of it is get it to kick off and um, see if the front wheel drive works just for a second. So keep your eyes on the front wheel drive and then I'll send you kids on your merry way. And I'll, um, disassemble this carburetor I was kind of on the borderline when I saw all that white cakey residue I thought well is this going to be an issue or can I try cleaning it up so it is an issue Okay, I had the uh, front wheel drive engaged and it didn't do anything. I don't even know if there's a belt on it. Let's see if we can see a belt. There is a belt on it. So who knows? That's got to be looked at. I'll remove the plastic cover here and see if something's off track. The belt may be off the pulley. Anyway, so that's where we are. No success on this one, this 98. Thought it was going to be much easier than the 99. I did get some parts today from the big jungle company. So I got to see what's in those. Earlier we messed with this crafty. And uh, we messed with the yard machine and had luck with that. The um, yard machine's a 2019, kind of a newer unit. This old gold series crafty is a 2012, which was a kind of a pain in the ass but we got it running so enjoy yourselves tip your waitress and wait staff I'm not totally disappointed in this 98 it still is a double turd just for the fact for the um, reason that it didn't run after the carb clean so i may subtract one or both of those when i put the aftermarket
carburetor on this. So kind of kind of impressed with this unit, it being complete with this metal guard and the recoil cover. This is the first time I've seen one of those, like I mentioned. Those usually get tossed or lost or fall off, as you can see on the 99. Missing, missing that metal shield. Okay, tip you waitress and wait staff. They're doing a great job. I'm going to get busy with this. This will be my last project today, and then I'm going to watch the birds fly by on the front porch. You guys have a good day. I'll do one more on this, tell you how we do. Have a nice day.